is critical to the project. Yeah. Finally, I go back to Bolton. Sorry about this. I have to mention Peel. Peel in Bolton produced over two years and many studies of the proposed site. Bolton has an office, a, a planning statement from them of 300 odd pages. The application on the site has <coughs> about 700 items. I know it's a bigger project, but that project is how far ahead of us? Two, three years with the documents in and the plans in. And that project has been called in by the Secretary of State. Yeah. This is his departure from the Greenbelt. So inevitably, this project is going to get called in at some stage. So we are building up future costs for ourselves. We're asking scrutiny to carry out work, which may not be particularly fulfilling. And we are gradually, I'm afraid, taking a project whose time is past. Where are the people in the golf resorts going to? Is it Portugal? Is it South Africa? Is it other places in Europe? They might want to go to Bolton if it's built. The original project was to get some business and take advantage of oiling Southport in a Gulf Coast resort, shared by everyone. It has been left as a project building expensive houses in the Greenbelt when our housing is needed in the areas of other parts of the world and brownfield sites. As Councillor Doughty said, contaminated. Well, let's use this borrowing to get the contaminated sites assembled yeah, 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 yeah. and get the houses built and not chase fantasies. Yeah. Third motion, have your right to reply, Mr. Mm -hmm. Councillor, for up to five minutes. Thank you, um, Mr. Mayor. Can I start off by, um, I'm sure it was an oversight, Councillor Gilchrist, congratulating, I'm sure it was an oversight, oh, you yes. didn't congratulate Councillor Brain right. on his right. maiden right. speech. Right. So, right. so, so, right. so I would like to, I would like to start my comments by right. congratulating right. Councillor Brain. Why don't you all invite Lappin, like, like, like the standard is in this council. Ago, um, I would like to put on record my thanks to Chris Meaton for her years of service to this group. Settle down, everybody. We want to get through this. I'd like to put on record my thanks to Chris Meaton. She was a good friend and colleague and did a lot of uh, great work um, in so the wards. Prior to the gallery, I want to hear from you get his speech she, she deserves uh, a lot of credit for the, for the effort and the selfless commitment she gave, and I'd like to put that on, on record from, from my point of view. Uh, thirdly, I'd like to just say to Jerry Ellis, uh, Jerry, um, you know, you, you did accuse me of making kind of rude comments, and I know you, you, you don't hold it personally, but can I just say on a personal note, I'm so sorry that you're being got rid of by the Conservative Party. It's, it's a real shame. It's a real shame for someone of your experience. I don't always agree with all of your views, but it's a real shame that your party won't have the benefit of your What about the golf resource? I want my record, my thanks to you for your service to this council. Uh, Mr Mayor, um, there's a couple of points I want to make in, my, in the rest of my time. You know, the idea that this group wants to build on every scrap of Greenbelt is just absolute nonsense. It's absolute nonsense. It's a cunning I may, plan. I may be leaving the council in May, but I live in West Kirby. Uh, my, grand, my children my grandchildren That's why you want to look to the houses there. We, we, yeah. the, we, we, the I do think the Greenbelt is a jewel in our credit. But equally, but equally uh, it's my job as leader of the council to bring jobs and investment into this borough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's, it's, it's one yeah, of the yeah, commitments yeah. in our yeah, in our yeah, union yeah. and <coughs> jobs. And why, you know, to Councillor Cox uh, said, well, why are you, this is all about finance. You're what, you know, right. this is about all about finance. Yes. Why is it all about finance? Because your government has cut two hundred million pounds from our budgets. Thanks to the locals. And, and therefore, 
We need to look at new sources of income to replace that grant, that money that your put that your government has cut. And we need we need to look at um, uh, council tax, new housing, new businesses. Seven million pounds. Can you go before me? Please go now. Please. And your time's we, up. We, we need. Why do we need that money? Because that money yeah, will fund, will fund yeah. public services yeah. going forward. If we do nothing, this council, like uh, Tory controlled Northamptonshire and, and a few other councils, will go bankrupt yeah. if we do not replace that money. Seven that's million pounds on the cinema. That's why it's an imperative. an imperative of looking at uh, not just the. You're a liar! And secondly. Sue me! That is a knock from the gallery. Be quiet or you will be removed. Sue me! And Mr Mayor, can I just also um, dispel another myth that we've heard tonight, that this is all about the Labour group prioritising luxury houses and doing nothing on brownfield sites. We're doing both, Mr Mayor. Can I remind uh, Councillor, it was a few months ago, that we supported a uh, major, where well, the council's a major guarantor with Peel of 500 new apartments on Wirral Waters. How's the, Joe? Uh, legacy project, Wirral Waters 1. So we need to do both. We need to do both. We need to do both, is the, is the truth. And Cathy Hudson, I take no lessons from you. I think you use the expression, why are we using overblown housing projections? Um, those projections are from your government. Yeah. No. 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 So, Mr. Mayor, um, we're, we're let me get back to our motion. So, yeah, we're, well. we're actually proposing that no decision be taken um, on this project. And I do believe, and, 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 and I do believe, there are lots of questions and issues that still need to be answered, and lots of members have raised these issues tonight. So people have said, what does the funding uh, plan look like? Well, we haven't seen it yet. Uh, what, what, you know, what are the views of local businesses? We've heard today that there are, there are a number of local businesses who, who support oh, it. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. What, what, what is the, is this just the golf course? Well, we know that Celtic Manor, only 9% of their revenue is from golf. So it's clearly more than a golf course. Um, will the jobs be low paid? Well, if you bothered to ask Celtic Manor, you'll know that they pay the living wage. Um, we're, we're also we're not in you know. the <laughs> <laughs> impact, um, uh, uh, impact of the Are you on the living, living wage? Quiet in the gallery. If you talk to the Celtic Manor people, they will give you lots of examples of how they have enriched the biodiversity of the people. Well, they, they will, Pat. You, know, you, may, you may not believe me, but they will. So, the point I'm making is, all of these questions need to be dealt with, and the way to do that is through scrutiny. It, it, it does enable a wide group of members to have a say than just the cabinet. And, you know, on the Green Belt issues and on the environmental issues, you know, this is, this is not something that we, I can unilaterally overrule. We have, the law of the land says these are planning matters and planning committee must have the final say. That's Don't not mine. That's not mine. That's the, that's the, that's the, that's the so if you want to change that, you need to get MPs to change the, the primary legislation. So, I do believe, the sensible, I do believe, Mr. Mayor, the sensible thing is to support our motion, which simply asks, for all that information, many of which people have asked for tonight to be gathered. And in conclusion, Mr Mayor, I just can't resist saying um, that I've had some, some people have challenged whether um, this is a progressive leader and a progressive uh, party. I'm proud that this council was one of the first to pay our staff the living wage. I'm proud that we were the ones who opened the Wirral Youth Zone, transforming young people's lives in Wirral. I'm proud of the Wirral Growth Company, creating 3,000 jobs. I'm proud of the budget. We are moving a budget council next week that will close no services, make no compulsory dumps, extra hard to new ferry, and take 9,000 poorly paid households uh, lower council tax. I'm proud of that. Budget, and I'm proud to defend my record. Thank you, Mr. Mayor.
So now we come to the we are voting now on the Conservative motion moved by Councillor Blakely. the voting system? The Green Belt is part of the tourist industry for the Wirral. Oh, yes, okay, members, you can stand and say how you're going to vote on the recorded vote. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Councillor Blakely, you're not allowed to vote. Mm -hmm. Councillor Blakely, you're not allowed to Save the Green Belt! Will you please listen to the director again? <laughs> uh, if members could uh, state for the microphone uh, with their lights on as to how they're going to vote safely. Councillor Lambert. For the Green Belt. Start again, thank you, Councillor. Can we clear that clear that screen, please? Thank you, members. Councillor Anderson. Four. Councillor Berry. Four. Councillor Ellis, this thing didn't go up there. Councillor Gilchrist, four. Councillor Gilchrist, four. Councillor Green, four. Councillor Gray, yes. Councillor Hayes, four. Yes. Councillor Andrew Hodson, four. Councillor Cathy Hodson, four. Councillor Adrian Jones, against. Councillor Chris Jones, yes. <coughs> Councillor Sharon Jones, yes. Councillor Tony Jones, yes. against. Councillor Jordan. <coughs> Councillor Kelly. Four. Councillor Kenny. Okay. Councillor Leach. Against. Councillor Lewis. Four. Councillor McLaughlin. Four. Councillor McManus. Against. Councillor Meaden. Four. Councillor Mitchell. Four. Councillor Mooney. Against. Councillor Muspat. Councillor Norway. Councillor Bogle. Four. Councillor Rennie. Four. Councillor Robinson. Me, Councillor Rollins, but yeah. Did you call Councillor Rollins? Benny and Robinson. Councillor Rollins. Four. Councillor Tony Smith. Yes. Councillor Spooks. Councillor Stapleton. Yes. Councillor Stewart. Yes. Councillor Sullivan. Four. Councillor Sykes. Four. Councillor Usher. Yes. Councillor Walsh. Yes. Councillor Watt. Four. Councillor Whittingham. Yes. Councillor Irene Williams. Yes. Councillor Jerry Williams. Yes. Councillor Steve yes. Williams. Four. And Councillor Williams. Thank you very much. Extra time. <laughs> <laughs>
moved by Councillor Gilchrist. So can we open the electronic voting system? Please cast your votes. Has everybody that wants to voted? Is everybody satisfied that the light is up on that screen? The light's on, but... <laughs> Councillor McLaughlin, yes. We're going for a point of order on this occasion. Um, we actually can't hear the instruction about what we're going to do down at the end of the chamber because there's too much talking around the chamber. We didn't actually realise that you called for the vote. I to be do taken. understand, I will try and do better. I'm sorry I'm recovering no. from a cold. My voice isn't quite as strong as it might be. So I think everybody is now voted except for the three absent members. Yeah, okay. So close the vote. Votes in favour 30, votes against 33, so the Liberal Democrat motion is lost. Yes, yeah, Councillor Stuart Kelly. I mean, perhaps, perhaps somebody could explain to me how miraculously the electronic voting system is working. working now. Perfectly. Yes, yes. And was malfunctioning only a few moments ago. Yeah. Yes. So that the result of the electronic vote had to be set aside. Set Why yes. is it waiting now? And 10 seconds ago, it is not functioning. Quiet, please. <laughs> the gavel's over there, councillors, otherwise I'd take the delight in banging. Um, members, I'd like to know, at the recorded votes, there was one member who stated uh, how they were going to vote very clearly but then didn't press the button. Uh, we knew who that was, that was written down, so that was the one floating vote. Uh, and as we've said before, uh, what's said out loud is taken as precedent. Thank you. So, now we move to the Labour motion, moved by Councillor So, a card vote has been requested. Yeah, Are we ready with voice and uh, fingers, man? Do you all understand that you have to listen to your names and also press your button at the same time? So please open the voting system and listen to your names. Councillor Anderson. Against. Councillor Berry. Against. Councillor Burr. Councillor Blakely. Mr. Mayor, I'll be oh, 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 Mr. 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 before he's even voted. Exactly. What is going on? <laughs> we, we have to wait for the age because... <laughs> if we're going to operate this system, Mr. Mayor, that's what we're I think we're going to have to clear the screen again. Jumbles. Watch in the gallery. Councillor Anderson. Against. Councillor Perry. Against. Councillor Bird. For. Councillor Blake. Against. Councillor Gray. Against. Councillor Brightmore. For. Councillor Burgess Joyce. Against. Councillor Cannon. For. Councillor Grubier. Against. Councillor Gill. Against. Councillor Clements. 
Against. Councillor Cottier. For. Councillor Cox. Against. Councillor Angela Davis. For. Councillor George Davis. For. Councillor Phil Davis. For. Councillor Bill Davis. For. Councillor Davis. For. Councillor Elderton. Against. Councillor Ellis. Against. Councillor Fox. For. Councillor Foster. For. Councillor Gardner. Against. Councillor Gilchrist. Against. Councillor Green. Against. Councillor Gwerk. Councillor Hayes. Against. Councillor Andrews. Against. Councillor Patty. Against. Councillor Adrian Jones. For. Councillor Chris Jones. For. Councillor Sharon Jones. For. Councillor Tony Jones. For. Councillor Jordan. Against. Councillor Kelly. Against. Councillor Kennedy. For. Councillor Leach. For. Councillor Lewis. Against. Councillor McLaughlin. Against. Councillor McManus. For. Councillor Meadon. Against. Councillor Mitchell. Against. Councillor Mooney. For. Councillor Muspat. For. Councillor Norway. For. Councillor Bogle. Against. Councillor Benny. Against. Councillor Robinson. Abstain. Councillor Rowland. Against. Councillor Smith. For. Councillor Squiggs. For. Councillor Stapleton. For. Councillor Stewart. For. Councillor Sullivan. Against. Councillor Sykes. There's a four didn't go up on the electronic yeah, scoreboard. Number twenty it should be twenty-seven four now, not twenty-six. Would you please leave us to the Councillor Usher. Councillor Walsh. Councillor Watt. Not voting. Councillor Whittingham. Four. Councillor Irene Williams. Four. Councillor Jerry Williams. Four. Councillor Steve Williams. Against. And Councillor Williams. Four. Thank you, Matt. Abstentions two. The Labour version is therefore carried. Shame on you. So we now move on to item four of the agenda, revision to the appointment and constitution of committees. Notice Councillor Blake. Can, can I ask you a question on this? The that these, these were obviously put together before the local independent group for the independent group. Will that change the proportionality further, or will it be made the same as this? And if it changes it further, I assume that will be brought back to the market. I will start again. Notice has been given under Regulation 8 of the Local Government Committees and Political Groups, Regulations 1919, that three councillors wish to be treated as a political group. Councillors Moira McLaughlin, Chris Meaton and Michael Sullivan. NB, Recommendation Number 2 on page 7 no longer applies. Council is asked to agree the revised constitution and membership of committees having regard to the political balance requirements. Agree that the names of appointees to committees as required from the above considerations be provided to the Director of Governance and Assurance following the meeting. Do I have a proposer and seconder? 
Councillor Phil Davis and Councillor George Davis. Thank you. So now we go to the electronic voting system. Open the vote. The members please cast their votes. Abstentions one, so the motion is carried. So thank you, councillors. That concludes the business of the extraordinary meeting of the council. Thank you.